this is what we had a valve uh, rusted worn to be of no use this is the step that we are at now the valve stem has been pressed into the valve head and it's about a sixteenth of an inch proud and I made these two things right here and what this is and you're going to need some of these you're going to need them just why well to get them done this was a piece of hex stock and I done already drilled a hole in there, five sixteenths for the total length of it. The length is kind of unimportant. It's just a ten eighteen steel. And then I took it over there on the saw, and I sawed it in two long ways, and that made it have a saw blade thickness gap in there. Oh, y'all can see where I'm going with this. Before I sawed it apart, I put it in the lathe and turned one end of it flat in relationship to the side. That's the part that goes toward the valve head. Just, just bring it right up there like that. The two matching halves will be just like that right there. And you can see that I got a decent gap in there. It's 5 sixteenths hole, 5 sixteenths material with a saw gap. The, just, this right here will just be a sliding fit, light sliding fit up to the valve head. And that was a flat surface. Put this in the vise with both of those, just, just a good tight sliding fit. And grip up on that vise, and even to the point of securing a pipe. A pipe on the vise handle, and we're going to tighten that up right before it breaks. You want that to be really tight where that stem does not move downward because what we're going to do is we are going to pin the head of this valve over and fill up that bevel in there. Let's get that done. Yeah, we're going to have far. Just a nice, uh, a pretty decent flame right there. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to heat that, the end of that valve right there, we're going to heat that to cherry red, and then we're going to mushroom that over. This was a, a pretty decent press fit, pretty decent. The, the, the steps on building these valves can be, you know, they can be changed around a little bit, but not much. And uh, I did get a comment there that it was taking a long time to do some stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, my, the, uh, what you're going to find out. Oh, yeah. What you're going to find out is if you're not willing to take the time that it takes to do this kind of stuff, you're not going to have much success with the outcome. You know, just slide a little closer to the screen. Take notes if you must. And I will, the, 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 the comment is this is just one of several. Ways to build a valve, just one of several. Now, after I get the after I get the head peened over, 
mushroomed out to fill up that gap. The uh, the head will be secured to the stem. You know, this is the procedure that I'm using today. That's not to say that the next valves that I build, I may, I may, uh, I may braze them or weld them on, even to the point of threading the stem and threading the head. Oh, that's good to go right there. No need to go any further. When I removed these two valves from the engine. It reminded me of an old Chinese proverb. For the want of a valve head, a valve was lost. For the want of a valve, an engine was lost. For the want of an engine, a crop was lost. For the want of a crop, the farm was lost. For the want of a farm, the country was lost. An Arkansas version of an old Chinese proverb. Now let's get this valve out of the let's get it out of the let's get it out of the vise. And remember that was some more tied in there now. Mm, relieve it with the pipe handle. And the stem there is, uh, you know, I can tell it's warm, not, uh, it's not hot, but this one part will be. And uh, uh, break it down with the two pieces to fall off. And you see, we have a completed valve with the head affixed to it. I will cut them to the length. And this particular one right here will cross drill it for a pin. Let's get them others done. <laughs> 